In this video, I'll show you how to create a 3D postcard effect for your digital artwork using Photoshop CC. So you can see my artwork looks like it's laying flat on a table, it's a little bit out of focus, and there's a nice shadow. And it makes it look a little more realistic. Digital art, it tends to be flat, and if you want people to maybe visualize how it would look as a print, you can do something like this. So I'll show you what I did here. I've just created a new canvas. This can be any size canvas that you want. This particular one is 1920 by 1080 pixels at 72 DPI. And I went ahead and dragged in a few images from Windows here. I have an eye, a brain, and a heart. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to space these out. I'm gonna drag the eyeball over, drag the brain over, and drag the heart over here. We'll have them overlap a little bit, I think. And I'm going to hold shift and select all three of the layers and I'm going to hit control T on my keyboard and I'm going to scale this down while holding shift so that I don't squish any of these images and let's put them like this now I want to rotate a couple of these layers so I'm going to select the heart and hit control T to enable free transform again and when you get this little curved arrow when you hover over the corner that will let you rotate your image I'll do that for the eye as well. And maybe we'll overlap this a little bit more. So the next thing that we'll do is we'll hold shift and we'll select all three layers and we'll group them with control G. I'm just gonna name that group art and center it. In the newer versions of Photoshop, it's really handy because you get these smart guides that show you where the center is. See that pink guide there? Now let's open up this group and let's add an effect with the effects button here down at the bottom of the layers palette for drop shadow. And you can play with the opacity and the distance if you like. I don't want to put it too far away because I want this to look like it's very thin and sitting on the table. And then I'll copy that effect by right clicking on the layer for the eye and choosing copy layer style. Then I'm going to hold shift and select both of the other remaining layers and choose paste layer style. Now if you want to, you can change the angle of your drop shadow. Maybe we'll put the angle kind of off to the right just a little bit. And you'll notice that when we adjust the angle on any one of these layers, it adjusts the light angle on all the layers so that your light stays consistent. That's really helpful. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and merge all three of these layers together into a single layer. So we'll select the group and we'll hit Control E on our keyboard. And then to turn this into a three-dimensional postcard, you'll want to right-click on the layer and choose Postcard. And this is going to jump you over to 3D mode, so we'll just click OK. Now if you just drag, you're going to see that you will rotate these in three-dimensional space. So I'm gonna make them look like they're laying flat on the table. Keep an eye on this horizontal guide here and try to keep it pretty flat. And then we'll go back to our regular Photoshop tools by selecting Window Workspace Essentials. That should be your default workspace. You're still gonna see this 3D view and you can still rotate this around, but I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. I think it's good how it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click on this layer and choose Rasterize 3D. That'll just make it into a regular image and it's no longer 3D anymore. We'll add an effect to that layer for drop shadow because we want all of these to have their own shadow now. I'm gonna make the shadow a little more distant and I might make it a little fuzzier. Something like that looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK. Let's create a new layer and call it Shadow. We'll make that a Multiply Blend Mode and we'll select the linear gradient tool, make sure it's set to linear, and hold shift and drag from the bottom up to create a shadow, and just reduce the opacity of that shadow a little bit so there's a very subtle light to dark transition. Let's return to the art layer. We'll go ahead and apply this drop shadow permanently by grouping the layer and then merging it. So we'll just hit Control G to group it, Control E to merge it. And then let's add a sense of focal depth by going to Filter, Blur Gallery, Tilt Shift. We'll turn on High Quality Mode. And we'll go ahead and move this little outer ring here to change the amount of blurriness. Click OK. So there you go. That's how you create a cool 3D postcard effect for your artwork to help show what it'll look like printed. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video and share it with your friends. And if you're new to my channel, click that subscribe button to get updates when I release new videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Thursday for another Photoshop tutorial.